Isaiah chapter 1, verse 12 to 17. When you come to appear before me, says Yahuwah, who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons or new months, the Sabbaths and the calling of assemblies, I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meetings. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear you. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless and plead for the widow. I'm telling you right now, guys, if you find if you keep finding excuses for a specific social injustice going on in our world, I don't care what excuse it is. I don't care what category of social injustice it is. You are. You are worthy to be rebuked the way Yahuwah is rebuking Israel. Who cares how much you worship? Who cares how much you pray? If you know Hebrew, if you know Hebrew songs, if you cry, if you show disregard for any subject of injustice and oppression, shame on you. Some people said, Brother D, you just put shame on the body of Messiah. That's witchcraft. Well, then I guess Yahuwah participated in witchcraft, too. And I guess the prophets were participating in witchcraft, too. Some of the comments I've been getting over the last few weeks, man, I just, uh, I think it's the devil. I don't think it's a real person behind the screen. I, some, some of these, I think it's the devil, like, getting on the computer, the Internet, and just commenting stuff to me just to rile me up. New Living Translation for verse 17. New Living Translation. I like the NLT. It says, learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed, defend the cause of orphans, fight for the rights of widows. Fight for the rights of widows. 